All right, guys, welcome back to, I think, on part nine of The Last Stand Aftermath now. But we're starting up a new uh, new survivor here who has a Mac 10 and a board. So we're going to see how far we can take this run. Um, I'm going to take the Bloodluster recipe here. Since this thing never seems to save my purchases whenever I quit out of the game. Um, but yeah, we're going to take the Bloodluster and then we're going to see how far we can take this run. I'm going to do everything that I can to survive as long as I can this time around. Instead of like uh, the last couple runs have been just kind of leveling up and stuff like that. This time around, we're going to see how far we can take it. Focusing on survival here. Uh, I think the Mac 10 and the Torn are both 9mm, right? Yeah, so I actually... We'll not be using the Torrent then, but that's okay. Let's get going. Let's get out of here. Get started. Uh, what I think I'm going to do here is take it slow the first couple of levels. Make sure the car gets nice and fueled up. Uh, see if we can gather a bunch of supplies for like bandages and whatnot. See if we can put together a couple of long lasting melee weapons. And then maybe we'll stumble ac across some, some good weaponry outside of that too. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for the continued support on this series. It's been one of the better on the channel. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you have a like on the video. So that way YouTube will put it in front of more new eyeballs for us. I really appreciate it. It means a heck of a lot to me. A lot of you guys have been really helpful with uh, tips and tricks on things that I should be doing in game. And I appreciate that. I do read all the comments. I, I you know, I do what I can to make sure I respond to everyone as well. Of course, I appreciate all the, uh, all the ideas and the advice along the way. All right, so I'm hearing the beeping. When we hear the beeping, that means there's something on the ground. It fades more this way. Oh, there you go. Where is it? Just clear out these uh, zombies here and then we'll see if we can find where this beeping is coming from. So the beeping are like little radio signals that will, they, they basically have little secrets for us, little, a uh, little bit of loot. I randomly discovered one on one of our more recent runs after having forgotten about them for the longest time. There it is. There it is. Oh, a katana. Big. That's very cool. Only 25, uh... 25 durability, but it does 40 damage. We have a sledge as well. Let's give this thing a go real quick. <laughs> nice. Okay, it does hit very hard. I had a feeling they would have some weapons like that in the game. Okay, so whenever we hear that, we absolutely need to uh, keep our eyes and ears peeled for it. Easy loot. Okay, a cleaver. All right, so people have been saying I should be using the fires more to craft some stuff with the plants. Uh, no, that doesn't do anything for us. I can't put anything else there, so... Hmm. Maybe I need to find some other stuff with it in order to actually... Because it doesn't give me any other options to pair it with here. So maybe we need some some other stuff in general. We'll, we'll uh, try again when we collect some more stuff off the ground and whatnot. We got a runner. 
Oh, just one shot him. Nice. <laughs> the katana's pretty badass. Oh, good. A battery. Here's a basement. I do have some fuel on my back as it is already, too. But there is that. Some more 9mm rounds. More blood samples. These zombies are dropping a lot on this run already, too. Okay, here's this. I think someone said that if I put scrap on the... Uh, on what is it? the knuckle dusters then it'll make it so they'll have uh like wolverine claws gotta try that out at least i think that's what they said it's a little too early to be crafting too much stuff like that you know based on our loop but we'll see if we can find some stuff here Let's run back to the car, drop this gas off, and then see what other stuff in the area we can find to loot. There's a antiviral right here. I suppose I could take that, but there's also these supplies right here I kind of want to take. Shotgun, nice. All right, let's take this. Painkillers and bandages. Damn. We'll just take the supplies on that. Um. Apparently, I can't go up those stairs. Katana's done. It was fun while it lasted. There you go. Um, I can't go up these stairs either. I think this building is inaccessible. I don't know why that is, but... It just won't allow me to climb the stairs. It's bugged or something. Like, the stairs are just a little bit elevated, so I can't climb up them. On both sides. Yeah. I just can't get in there. All right. I guess that's the thing. Let's see. Let's put on cleaver here. Any more gas? No, there's one of these things over here, though, we should probably use. Taking a lot of free damage right now. Let's reload so we're full up. Let's open this bad boy. transmission thing I don't have any batteries oh wow that thing's dead already you just hit me through the wall I guess it makes sense because I'm hitting them through the wall too to be fair 
what we can do though is see if we can get enough um blood samples to make another antiviral here after we kill a bunch of these guys None of them have any antiviral on them. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, I guess I'll just take a moment to bandage up. We have three out of five needed for that. Let's see if we can find some in the area before we go. Just so we can have it. nothing damn this guy looks like i'll have one in his pocket that was a lie never mind okay well i guess we just go there's gonna be nothing else here we have two gas Required for both restaurant and store. Let's go restaurant here. Wasn't a whole lot in the beginning area. I'm promising start, but there wasn't a whole lot in the area in general. Hope we can find another one of those radio things. Okay. M16, huh? All right, there's a blood sample. See gas in this building, so we're going to kick this. It's going to lure in every zombie in the town. Right, this feels okay, so it should have two in it. Let's see what else is in this building. Uh, weird movement. All right, there's a crafting bench in here. Some more tape. I wonder if plastic bottle is what we need with the, uh, the plants. Maybe to contain whatever it is that we make with it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Next time we find a fire, we could try that. Alright, we have two crafting benches here, so this other one should be something different. Yeah, gas. Oh, hey, hey. Not much left on this. We're just gonna put this in the car. Then loot up the rest of the town really fast, and then go. I figure these beginning areas are a little bit easier, so we should be able to try to capitalize on any loot that we can. Of course, it doesn't help when there's nothing actually to loot. And that thing broke already. Ah, oh, these buildings have nothing. I right, get some clean water. That's good.
All right, I guess we just leave. We have gas station and then neighborhood. Let's hit the gas station here. We have a little bunch of the little zombies here. I need to see. We have some stuff. We have an M16 and a shotgun with no ammo. We have 41 rounds for the Mac 10. Found some 7.62 earlier as well. Hmm. There's only one question mark here. Jeez. There's a boomer. It is gas at least. Kind of makes a satisfying little clunk. That guy found a shortcut. What is this? Uh, auto center? Hmm. I'm going to take a moment to loot up this whole area here just to see if there's anything good. There's nothing else on the map to worry about, so. There's a lot of zombies. <laughs> All right, 50 melee damage, but less stamina, or we get more XP gain. Or deal 10% damage to enemies with less than 30% health. Yeah, let's go for that for faster finishes. This is weird. Right, some scrap shotgun shells that's good we have a shotgun for that okay not much otherwise in this store unfortunately Oh, wow, that was a very delayed swing on my behalf. Okay. We're getting, uh, more knowledge than anything else. Okay, there's some scrap. There's boomers right here. Hey. He's very unaware of my presence. Oh, there he is. Now he sees me. I'm glad there wasn't a door that I had to kick in, because I'd be stuck in the animation. Would have just got hit by that.
All right, some clean water. There's still three things to loot in here. Bandages and a med kit. That's awesome. We'll have to make those now. A rag. And 45 caliber rounds. Doesn't look like much else in this area. What I do need to do really quick is drink some water. Get the stamina back up a little bit. So far, this run has not been very lucrative as far as loot goes, but... I mean, we got some experience out of the deal so far. Alright, large neighborhood. Oh, supply cash. Let's hit that. Alright, we have a whole bunch of question marks here. There's a knowledge thing over here as well. We can transmit some of that back after we discover everything else in the area. Just to see if there's any other knowledge to transmit. Again, we know there is a supply cache in the area. Set tape and tape. Some more of that stuff. We're going to break that open any second now. Excuse you, sir. Here's this thing. Climb then. There you go. Come on. That broke. I have no other melee weapons. I love that I can punch them over this. There you go, buddy. All right, we do have guns, so there's about, there's about to be a whole bunch of them here. We can just take a whole lot of them out. Hopefully this has some good stuff in force too. M249 and 92 rounds of 556. Five, I think we're going to take this. Uh, let's use what we have first. Those guys are armored. All right. Now for ranged weapons, we just used all the ammo on the shotgun. I'm going to lose the shotgun here. Put this on here. Oh, I got a sports shot rifle as well. Damage is 60 on that. Damage is 90 on the sports shot. I'm going to put the sports shot on over the M249. If we get an abundance of ammo, we'll equip that later. Just because that is... It weighs 17 though, holy. Uh just because it, it is pretty uh pretty awesome. That's a boomer. Ah, stamina is gone already. And that guy still won't die. Ah, I just ate that. I'm taking too much free damage. There you 
There you go. There you go. There's some nine millimeter. That's good. These guys are all angry now. They're missed out on all the fun, I guess. There's some gas down here. I guess in the meantime, we can hit the rest of this building now that it's all cleared out. Very nice. Oh, a battery and electronics? I know we have a bunch of scrap as well, so that's good. Let me uh, do something about my stamina here. I just got canned fruit. The gas was right here in front of me. I didn't even see it. Okay, there's two more things here that we haven't discovered yet. I'd like to see uh, if there's a fire in the area. That'd be nice to try out some stuff here. Oh, there is. Or is it outside? Or nine millimeter. Can't be mad about that. Okay, here's this. Let's see if we can do anything with it. That and yet white yarrow. Herbal endurance. A mixture of plants restores some stamina after being consumed. Okay. Cool. How about some hog roots and white yarrow? Herbal antidote. Mixture of plants cures poison. Okay. How about red collar? Okay, nothing for right, that right now. That's bandages, of course. Molotov. Alcohol and plastic bottle. What would that do? Science. Propane gas. Interesting. Anderson alcohol is a med kit. We have can. Contaminated water. What's this going to do? Clean water. That makes sense because it's over a fire. Okay. <laughs> Let's throw explosives in the fire. It's fine. Tape plastic bottle. That's a bottle suppressor. All right. Actually, you know, uh, we could probably use that. for the uh, Mac 10. There you go. All right, we're way overweight, but we're gonna try to just continue and act like it's not a problem. All right, let's loot more out of this house. And then there's one more question mark in this area and we can go uh, do some stuff with it. See what it is. Some more bandages. All right. There's some more yarrow. Gas. All right, so the good news is I have a battery as well as scrap to make another battery. Hey guys. The reason I mentioned that is because I use my antiviral. We're going to need more of that soon. Let's throw this in the car and then be on our way. All right, we're out. 
Hey guys, do me a favor. If you've made it this far in the video, leave a like on it so that way YouTube will put it in front of more eyeballs for us. I really appreciate it. Okay, we have four gas. We're just going to go all the way to... Let's, let's stop at the safe house because that we can, we can do some stuff there. And then be on the uh, blockade from here. All right, turn on the power. Can we transmit some knowledge? Let's look all this stuff over. We have movement speed stuff. Durability. Constitution, tempering. We have that unarmed damage there. Stun damage. All right, we have we have the uh, the long gunnery maxed out. Might take durability damage on melee weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. Yeah, let's take the radio jack. I only have one point left. Plus one starting fuel sounds like a good time in the future. Yeah. So that way we can call in knowledge a little more often. Not that we've had a whole lot of issues with that, but I just feel like it's nice to have. wrench okay so we are gonna make this battery let's make knuckle dusters and then we're gonna take these knuckle dusters and throw them on there no do I not have more hmm Someone said if I throw them up there with scrap, I'd be able to make, you know, advance them a little bit more, but maybe not. Maybe that's not the item I need. As I throw them on there, and usually it'll it'll put anything up there that's, like, compatible with it. Let's go ahead and... Ah, uh, you know what? I don't really need the M16 because I have the M429. Yeah... May as well make that can bomb. Alright, I think we're good. Oh wait, let me repair the engine on this. And grab these plants next to me as well. Start the fire. Looks like the white yarrow is the catalyst for all of these. Herbal remedy. Heals some health after being consumed. Yeah, it's going to make more of those. A lot more of those. I just made so many of those. <laughs> Stamina heal, herbal remedy, health 10. Yeah, that's that that's nice. That that's that's nice.
Okay. Let's go straight to the blockade here. Usually there's gas right towards the beginning, so we can grab it and just burst our way through to the next area. We've got a decent little start. Could use a little bit more ammo. We'll see if we can path our way to the guy that uh, barters stuff. And go from there. Two rifle scopes. We got a big guy there. If that big guy wasn't there, I'd consider going through there just so we can get the... Uh, The blue thing here but yeah i'm not staying here let's go on get get on through here there's supply cash here maybe we go for that and then this log cabin with the salesman right there after that let's do that Oh, <laughs> those zombies were dead before I was even on screen. Okay, a grenade. Got some supplies right here. Stun grenade. Damn it. Okay, so we have a basement here. We have this locked door. We have one of these uh, supply cache things. And a boatload of enemies here otherwise. Aiming laser. Oh, I just saw one of the jumpers, I think. There we go. Hurting on stamina with all of that, but you can get a lot of free damage in by meleeing them like that, so just kind of sent it. It's hard to see the zombies through the trees. Come on up. So tired. Come on, stamina. There you go. Oh, damn. Oh, that scared me. Melee attack speed or stamina? Yeah, let's go with stamina here. Almost always take the stamina. Oh, shoot, that thing. That's why I'm taking so much. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that thing there. Annoying. Jumper down here.
Wow, that all missed. Great. Is he stuck? I think he's kind of stuck in the wall there. That's why I won't take uh, damage from the bullets as well. Yep. So it's really weird. They'll like, sometimes these zombies will be like be bugged in things and they act so awkward. Another battery there, some more nine mil. Don't need the shotgun. Taking this. I'm gonna use it. Now, there should be a thing to make another antiviral inside this as well. Yes. There we go. Uh, let's take this. We're also going to open this up. But you're going to take the ammo. Heck yeah. We always say yes to 556. Five, I got some more people running at me here. Let me try to preserve this ammo a little bit. That's a lot of zombos. They have a lot of loot. Oh, there's a big guy over there and he's he, they, they keep getting bugged in that too i guess that kind of makes my life a little easier i guess uh we're gonna take the 45 tacticals i do have 45 rounds and there's a replacement battery sick Don't get mad, okay? No, no, don't get mad. Guys, he got mad. He got mad. I don't want to be stuck in that corner with you. Oh, what? Not sure if that actually hurt him there.
<laughs> oh, hey, where'd you come from? Stop that. Yeah, I think it's hurting him a little bit. I think. Oh, my stamina is stupid low because this guy uh, takes away your stamina when he stomps. Forgot about that. Oh, okay. We can't execute him when he does that, but we can get some free damage in anyway. Um, can I re-up this? I can. Let's re-up that. I just got a whole bunch of these samples, so let's make another. No, 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 no. Oh, you can only do it once? Okay, that's a tragedy. Okay, game. Well, I just messed that up, didn't I? I do have endurance. Not much, but we did have some. <laughs> have something good. All right, M16, MP5. We have five, five, six rounds and a whole lot of nine mil with this MP5 as well. We're going to we're going to take this. Then we're going to go ahead and put some stuff together here. Holding on to everything that I have because I can sell it all to the guy in the next area that we're going to. Put the MP5 over the MAC-10 because they're both 9mm. Alright, that can't go on the MP5, unfortunately. Let's see. Do I have more food? No more food. We need to work on that. All right. Overall, we're looking decent. Oh, that's a lot of zombies right there. So we can make it back to the car without attracting all of their attention. All right. Apparently we do not have much gas. Oh, there is gas over there that I didn't get apparently. They had the supply thing on my back. It's hidden over here. It kind of sucks that you can only make one of the uh, antivirals at a time. That's really unfortunate. I have 11. I don't think I can really do much with this right now. What is it they wanted to get next? Yeah, let's go for movement speed here just because we can it's right there all right we've got almost 400 rounds of 556 that's glorious let's go barter with the guy in the next area now shall we spend a little more time there than i would have really liked to We also need another antiviral pretty dang soon. 
What annoyed me the most in this area, though, was that uh, there was that little infection thing that I didn't even see. I had my eyes on the zombies instead of what was directly in front of me. All right, let's see where the guy's van is. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I can uh, stand to lose. <laughs> we spent a battery and now we're going to get all this out of it. I'm just going to take this. Spent a battery, gain a battery. Oh, good. The van's right here. Excellent news. Hello there. Oh, there's an M4 right here. All right, let's sell. First and foremost, get rid of the broken stuff. Don't need the M16 because we have the M249. Kind of want to keep the 45 just because we have 45 ammo. We don't need the Mac 10 because we have the MP5. He's got four more that he can part with here. Let's just sell him some tape. Okay, let's see. He's got nine mil rounds, 50 for seven knowledge. I'll take that. And then we're going to take this. No, no, we're not going to take the battery. I can't now because I just spent. All right. We're still overweight by a good margin, but we got rid of a bunch of stuff that's kind of useless to us. Okay, there's one. Need to find another fire as well so I can make more of these potions. That thing. Oh, no way. That guy, that guy, where's our med kit? Really hope there's a crafting table here. There is. All 
Oh, hold on. Someone's at the door. Get him out of here. There you go. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? Maybe ourselves a battery. I'm going to do something else as well. Don't need a rifle scope. Oh, you know what? It's melee parts with the knuckle dusters, I think. I just remembered. I forgot melee parts existed. This should give us like Wolverine style claws. Hand blades. Nice. That's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. There it is. I completely forgot that was like melee parts specifically were a thing. All right. What can I do about my stamina right now? Energy drink. That's what I can do. Clean water. We have a whole bunch of clean water. I keep forgetting. Okay. So I'm used to in survival games, water uh, doesn't really give you energy. Uh, it just, that's hydration. Energy drinks usually like either heal you or they will, uh, obviously not in real life <laughs> they'll either heal you or um give you like a a buff of some kind otherwise like increased movement speed or something along those lines not straight up give you stamina okay that's back out there That was a jumper. There's an antiviral down here. That's huge. Thank you. Extended magazine for a pistol. More water as well. Sweet. Uh, we got 22 knowledge. Yeah, let's build up our stamina a little bit here. Reduce the actual running cost. All right, that was good. Uh, is there more gas in the area? There might be down here. Yes. We need endurance, friends. Endurance it is. Listen, guys, we're an hour into this video. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. So that way it'll share the video to more people that'll have similar interests to us in video games. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This water's quite loud. We are leaving. 
All right, that was a good little, uh, good little bit there. Now we have a safe house ahead of us. Huge. There's not a whole lot that I actually need to do with the safe house, but it's free gas, so we can skip ahead a little more, as well as uh, get some other material real quick. Shotgun choke. A fire. Alright, that's probably just going to be the fence. Yeah, we don't need that. Don't need that. What we do need is what's in this box, though. Oh, there's nothing. Unfortunate. Alright, I need to prioritize finding another antiviral or an area to make an antiviral. So I can pop this one real quick, and then we go. Achievement unlocked. Infection fighter. We got a motel, military checkpoints, log cabin, and then the forest. Can we just blow on through? No, we cannot. I think I have four gas exactly. Uh, let's just get here. Yeah, let's just go. Let's let's just do it. I have plenty of ammo. I can shoot everything. Nothing in this forest will get in my way. Out of fuel. There's a jumper over there. There's an antiviral. I hear a big guy right now. He's right there. The gas is right here too. You hear nothing. Ooh, that's heavy. See, he thinks he heard me, but he really didn't. You know, he re Oh, no. Oh, he sees me. Unfortunate. Oh, where'd you come from? No, 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 no. Damn it. Not Travis. I didn't see the jumper down to the south, man. I. Oh, that's such a tough run. Tough end to that run when we were doing so well on actually stocking up on things to take into the next region, man. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, we have colonist, gunsmith, and firefighter. Let's take Colonist here, just because he has a shotgun. Oh, I'm so depressed after that. So depressed. New items available at level 40. Oh, shoot. Machete in the armory, armory would be nice. Hmm. I think we're just going to hold on to this stuff for now. That blows. That blows. That's okay. We do it again. I think what really screwed that run over was all the infection that we got from the, uh, that machine thing that I completely missed. I got too close to it and infected me. 
They killed off my max health. If I had a little more health there, overall, I wouldn't have died, you know? There's a gun shop right here. That's a great start. Forty-five. And forty-five rounds. Another forty-five. Hunting rifle. Those look like shotgun shells, but they're not shotgun shells. Okay. A G-17. Was that? Yeah, we have an M4. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All we have to do is find scrap and fix it up, and that's going to be big. Won't have to worry about any other 5.56 weaponry. Man, we were so well stocked on everything, too. That was the dream run right there. Right up until it wasn't, I guess. I hear beeping. There it is. There's our katana. Sweets. Right, here's this. I need scrap. Oh, we do have scrap. Let's repair that. Now I have normal M4. Uh, let's see. I, mean, I have a broken shotgun as well <laughs> that I'm actually using, but that's okay. Put a 45 tactical over there. Apparently we got a bunch of 9mm at some point, I didn't even realize. What's the Jet G17 use? That's also 9mm? Okay. We have a lot more for that, so let's put that on instead. Oh man, I'm so sad about that run, guys. I, I feel like we really could have gone far with that. I forgot that the G17 does potato levels of damage. Absolute potatoes. I don't have a battery. Took a bullet and four swings. You are a legend. There you go. Have some of that. Oh, also, guys, uh, as of this video going live, we are less than 100 followers away. We are less than 100 followers away from 3,000 subs... I'm sorry, followers. I'm so used to Twitch. We're less than three... Words! We are less than 100 subscribers away from 3,000. I cannot speak English right now. That's how cool it is to me. No, I just... Um, I really appreciate all the support. What we're going to do for 3,000 is I'm going to do a little bit of a Q&A video. So if you have any uh, any questions that you would like to ask me to get to know me a little bit better or about my history, you know, anything at all, as long as it's appropriate, you guys are more than welcome to ask. I'm going to put a post in the community tab uh, asking for your questions for a Q&A video. So keep your eyes peeled there for that. I'll be putting that up very, very soon, sometime in the next couple of days. And then you guys can, you know, submit all your questions and we'll go from there. I hear beeping. It's 
not back here. Oh, it's right there in front of me. I can actually see it. So yeah, less than a a hundred subscribers until 3000 total on the channel, which is incredible because it was right around five months ago that I kind of changed the direction of my YouTube channel here. Originally, my YouTube channel was something that I just kind of uploaded stream highlights to, as well as I made like a couple of uh, multiplayer guides and just kind of uploaded my Twitch streams of single player stuff. But now I make exclusive content for the channel here on YouTube. I changed it away from Necro because that's my name over on Twitch. Uh, YouTube doesn't really like the word Necro because people suck. They're gross. Um, and obviously all I mean by it is Necromancer because that's just something that it, it's something that I played in D&D. I played it in Guild Wars uh, as well as Diablo. Any Diablo fans out there will know Necro for Necromancer. So that's something that uh you know that it's a it's a big part of me there but i had to change it on youtube specifically so that way people wouldn't think i'm weird and the channel would actually be able to move forward because when you use certain language on youtube certain words and stuff youtube will actually make it so you have a harder time growing it reduces your visibility and everything so i had to move away from that name so hence why we're called the josh feed now because it's i'm josh and it's a feed of my content and that, that's pretty much all there is to it uh, but yeah, that's something that we can go deeper on in the Q&A as well. It, it's just cool to see the, the growth on the YouTube side here since I've made the changes, you know? I appreciate you guys being a part of it. Okay. I see gas right there. It's the only thing in this entire area. Sweet. Disturbing the neighbors over there, man. We'll take that. We're leaving. I guess we can take this moment to try to loot up some of these stores. This is a boomer, so let's get rid of that. Oh, I don't want the bottle. All right, the diner. Ten things to loot in here? Oh, there's something good. A board. All right, come on. Give me some food. Give me some food. I I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you probably shouldn't walk into a diner and just start saying, give me some food. That's it's really not. That was it not polite. It's probably not going to get you any food. Just a thought. But, you know, this isn't... This isn't a normal diner. Okay? This is a diner after all the cool people are gone. No food for us. First aid guides... All right, I don't think we're going to find much of anything else here. We are leaving. All right, we have two gas, and all we can go to is the large neighborhood of, ahead of us. here hello howdy neighbors 
There's a bunch of stuff here. That's what I like to see. A battery? Am I hitting the fence? I am. Damn it. All right, in this area, we're going to make sure we scoop up everything just because this area has so much to it. There's a basement right there. There we go. Also, I'm pretty excited. Um, over on Twitch tomorrow, I'm going to be starting my first ever playthrough of the Demon Souls remake on PS5. Really looking forward to that. I played the original way back when, when it first came out. I've only played through it once as well. It's been so long that I remember virtually nothing about the game. So going into this, uh, it's pretty exciting for me. Damn, look at me, hot hands. Didn't miss a shot. Yeah, really looking forward to that. It's gonna be a good time. I love the Souls games. There's only one other thing down here. It's probably water, isn't it? Nope. Fuel. And a shelf. Lame basement. Worst basement ever. Um. Is it really not letting me up the stairs to get out? Oh, there we go. Oh. I thought I was stuck for a moment. There's a fire down there. We don't think we have any uh, plants on us right now. Put the fuel in the car. What the heck is this? I... You, yeah, I, you know, I saw that tripwire and I walked into it anyway. What the heck is this? It's big brain time. Don't judge me. I don't need to be judged in this moment. Okay. I'm feeling it myself already. Let's just eat some painkillers here and... You're not going to shoot again, right? No? Can we... Can we never have that happen again? That'd be great. Let me kill this zombie. I saw that there. I saw the tripwire. I stepped forward anyway. I don't know. Okay. Another basement. Better have the goods. What the heck? Another crafting table, guys. Yay. These basements are the worst. So that it seems like if an area has a lot of stuff going on, it's likely that... Uh, that a lot of stuff is nothing special. What the? I can't get that zombie loot because they overlap. Sad. All right, let's see what we have. Another fire. Three of these things are fires as well. Man, this is not exactly a great location.
missing a lot of shots all of a sudden. Um, I'm going to save the battery. So you know what, guys? We are risk takers. We are risk takers. We're, we're taking this. Okay, that was a terrible idea. Yep. I knew I should have held on to it. <laughs> Whatever. Again, don't judge me. It's fine. Everything's going to be just fine. Cleaver. Well, at least the good news is we got five levels so far, so that's a thing. It's not a complete loss on the day because this means that we're that much closer to uh, getting some more, some more uh, increased starting material. All right, dude. Okay, so we took the supplies on that. There's you. Let's just get rid of you. Some scrap. Another fire. Holy crap. Uh, it's a broadcast thing. There's a boomer inside. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that's not even worth dealing with, and we're going to go. All that, and there's just nothing of importance here. Unfortunate. And we have a safe house. Let's go there. We have 40 knowledge, so we can do that here. Let me just see if I can get some, uh, some more resistances going. There's two of these right here. Let's see if we can get some resistances going as far as the infection goes. If we can resist more infection, then we'll be able to make it further with a little bit more ease. That's what I intended to get earlier. I don't know if that's an actual thing. Infection from all sources right here. All right. So we're at, we're at uh, minus 10% right now. There's a battery. That's pretty good. We can make knuckle dusters. Yo, I just remembered because we died, we didn't get to use the uh, the weapons I made. Also, we have some uh, we have the blueprint for it, but also we have the Warhammer blueprint, which is melee parts and a brick. There's also the uh, the other one, the Bloodluster, scrap and melee parts. We can make melee parts. All right, that has forty eight. Uh, what's it called? Endurance. So does that. Hand blades have 59, though. Damn. We 
going to make a couple hand blades here. That makes sense to me. They're really not all that bad to make either. We find scrap all over the place. What is, uh, what's the melee stuff take? The melee parts? I think it's just scrap and, uh, tape, right? Yeah. That's really solid. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're out here wolverining it now. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, uh, I think we got everything here, yeah? All right, let's go test these hand blades out real quick. What's this character's name? Does it happen to be Logan? That would be great. Let's go to the gas station. Three question marks. All right, who wants the hands first? Oh, I got a, I got a guy. I know a guy. Yeah. Yeah. How about that, huh? You're getting punched and sliced simultaneously. What a time to be alive. Well, what a time to be undead, I guess, really, but... There's a fire here. That's all that's left. I did find some... Plants, but it's just the white yarrow. I guess we just go around looting other stuff for a minute. Car's full up, so don't have to worry about that now. There's only one lootable thing in this entire store. Well, at least it had food. Dig through the trash. Yes, please. Three things in this store. Also, I hear the beeping. Oh. 100% unarmed damage. There it is. There it is, guys. Minus 20% action speed is worth it. Because now we have these, uh, these unarmed damage-based weapons. Kind of sounds like it's right here. But it's not right there. It's 
It's loudest right here-ish. I'm not seeing it. Wish I could turn the camera. That would be amazing. Is this it? No. So I can't quite find it here, but it sounds like it's right about here. Maybe it's underneath the wall and it's just inaccessible. I'm not getting any prompts to open anything up. It sounds like it's right under the wall right here. Maybe because I, I just, yeah, yeah I got nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's right here underneath this wall. I can't get it. That's really unfortunate. Okay, yeah, I have no other plants right now. Oh, that sucks. I don't think I can actually get it. Yeah, man, that blows. Oh, that's so sad. Maybe it's on the other side of the counter right here? Nope. Man, that, that's really unfortunate, man. I don't know what else, what else to do. I guess we just go. Oh, well. Let's just go to the blockade here. Be able to get some more fuel, maybe a little bit of ammo towards the beginning of the area here. Antiviral. Do I have a battery for it? I do. See the gas right there. <laughs> I, I really like these claws. With amplified unarmed damage, they're pretty great. friends there is this thing here I guess we just kind of see what else is here real quick maybe it'll be worth going to check it out get some stuff out of it canned fish gross See a boomer here.
Maybe we get in there to do that. I almost failed that miserably. Wait for the poison to clear out and then we can make our way back there. Uh, let's see. I have this M4 that I want to make use of. This is why I'm like on the search for ammo. I figure this is one of the better areas to actually use the shotgun because they're all funneled in straight lines anyway. Look at that, some more shotgun shells. Just replaced a bunch of what we just used. And again, nice. All right, show me the goods. I don't have a battery. Great news. Oh, well. What a rush of zombies that was. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the weakest showing for one of those I've seen yet. Yeah, I didn't even think about the battery part of that. What I should have done is kept the battery that I used on this right here. I just kind of jumped the gun and then went back there and then I could have opened up the crate to potentially get some stuff. That's all right. That's all right. This isn't a bad run. We're keeping our health up. We're keeping the infection low. Infection from all sources. We're upgrading over time. I might have just been able to upgrade it again at that radio in there as well, but I think we need 22 for it if I remember right. Yeah, we could have upgraded it again. That's okay. That's all right. Guys, for now, this is where we're going to leave off. When we come back, we're going to pick up the adventure right here. We're actually making good progress on this one. It's unfortunate that we died on the last run. But realistically, I mean, that's the name of the game, right? It's just try to survive, and sometimes things just don't go your way. Thank you guys so much for watching this series of videos. It's It's been popping off like crazy. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy what I do with more games in the future. I like to play all sorts of different games, uh, roguelites and roguelikes, as well as tons of RPGs, uh, shooters, and a plethora of other things. Anyways, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you soon for more.